it's Carly and welcome here back to my channel and welcome to a brand new updated Q&A. I haven't done a Q&A for such a long time and I still love watching these on YouTube. I know that they can get a little bit rambly and it's kind of easier to now do it like on Instagram or something like that but I still thought it'd be fun for my channel and kind of a break from everything that's going on so hopefully you guys enjoy hearing a little bit more about me and just some fun things that you guys asked and wanted to know the answers to. So if you didn't have time to submit a question I would love to continue chatting with you in the comments if you have anything or you can follow me on Instagram as well that's where I do most of my connecting with you guys and updating in real time and all that fun stuff. So I'll have that linked below if you would like to follow me over there and if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button I would really appreciate your love and support here on my channel as well as a big thumbs up if you liked the video. So let's hop right in. So I have all the questions here on my phone of the ones that you guys submitted to me so thank you so much again if you did submit a question. The first one is what gives you the motivation to stay cute, <laughs> to stay so cute and put together every single day and this was submitted by one of my best friends Sav so thank you so much for submitting that but I don't know I just really love and enjoy fashion and getting ready every day and although I don't always look put together um, it is still just so fun for me to get up and get dressed and I am like totally not a morning person so anything to like get me excited or get me out of bed really does help and if I know that in my closet I have like this brand new shirt that I can't wait to wear it's so weird but it gets me right out of bed and it gets me up even like more so than anything else and so I think that's kind of like my inspiration is just it's just exciting and it's fun and it makes me feel good and so not to say that you have to be 100% put together to always feel your best but for me I know that I perform better and do better when I feel like myself and sometimes that like feeling 100% is having no makeup on and my hair up and just being proud of my skin or whatever it is so I think like looking cute and put together can be in so many different I don't know oh the light's gonna be all funky <laughs> today so sorry about that sorry the light is kind of going in and out of the clouds so you're gonna have to bear with me for just a little bit but I hope it still looks okay um so yeah feeling cute and like being put together can be on so many like different levels for every individual um so I appreciate the compliments and yeah it's just fun I've always been interested in fashion and it's just something that I enjoy so it comes easy to me and I just I like doing it so that's kind of a short answer for that one. Okay, so the next three were submitted by such a great follower, Mary Soul. So thank you so much for submitting those. And the first one that she did, which I'll just touch on super briefly, was who's your fashion icon and inspiration? And I will leave her Instagram here for you guys to check out. Um, but it's Sarah Najafi, and she has such a gorgeous, like sophisticated, chic style. And even though like I kind of play on like like today I'm wearing very bright colors and just like loungy and easy I kind of go for fun and out there outfits but very like chic and casual on the other spectrum so I'm kind of like I kind of float around as I feel like fashion should be but she is like my ultimate dream goal I can't wait to be 30 and like look like her and have short hair and dress like only in creams and blacks like she's amazing so I'll leave her Instagram down below she's amazing and just a great inspiration. So she's probably my top one. So another question she submitted was, where do you and Sebastian see yourself in five or 10 years? And this is such a hard question to answer just because every day something changes and you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow or a year from now. Um, but five years, we, I can't speak just for him because he's not here, but um, something that we've talked about like together, we would love to live somewhere outside of Utah that is like a huge goal for us so hopefully like in five years we want to be like having kids um or already have had a kid so hopefully we have already like ticked off living outside of utah on our list that is something that's really important to us Sebastian is from columbia and i was born in california so it's just like fun to know that like we've lived in other places before and we'd love to experience somewhere else together so that is a huge goal we also of course like eventually want to have children. I think that that would be so fun. I can't wait to like start having kids. The thought of kids right now is so like scary and we don't want it so I can't wait to like get excited about starting a family but that will all come. I mean we haven't even hit a year on our like on our marriage which is so crazy but in 10 years I don't even I can't even tell you. I hope that we were both like 
building our dream companies and our jobs and just exploring the world and having fun and still being happy and in love and yeah there's just so much to look forward to and I love getting to spend my life with Sebastian and go through all of these things so while it's fun to plan like where I want to be I think it's fun just like seeing where it goes and he's definitely the partner that will help me get there and just like experience the most out of life Sebastian is like similar to me but very opposite in a lot of things and so it challenges me and pushes me and I am just so grateful for that so that kind of didn't answer but hopefully that gave you a little glimpse of kind of what our goals are and then her last question was what was your dream job and again this is something that has always been so difficult for me to like talk about um, even when I can remember even being in like high school and feeling very overwhelmed with what I wanted to do because it never looked like what my friends wanted to do or there wasn't a class for it or anything like that and I still don't even really know I just know that I would love to do something on my own something continuing with YouTube I would love to make this like a huge part of my life and I think it will always be I'll always be creating people always like to talk about how we don't really know where YouTube's going or the internet or anything um, so regardless I hope I'm still creating content in some way I would love to have like a product of mine to show or something so I don't know, I I don't really think that my dream job has like a title, I would just love to continue creating something, whether that's like a book or a product or an online space, I just think I love the aspect of that, so I hope I continue doing that full time um, and making money at that. I love it! <laughs> okay, so my next question comes from one of my new like favorite followers and like accounts to follow as well, um, and this was submitted by Sakari, I hope I'm saying that correctly if I'm not I apologize but her account is so great and she's so lovely and I've just really enjoyed um, making a new friendship on the internet so she said how's being a wife working and doing YouTube uh, how do you do it all and I think that's oh, my armpits itching um, I think this is a great question to ask just because I within the past year I've had so many new changes with you know getting married and living with Sebastian full-time even though we've already been living together the previous year it's still just something so new and there's so many challenges and it's very difficult but easy at the same time it's something that I've always wanted to be doing I've always wanted to be married I've always wanted to have a passion that I love um, working is something that of course I've been doing for a while so I just keep doing it but um, I've been good um, like I said there's always everyday struggles and sometimes it feels like my marriage is amazing and my YouTube is lacking or YouTube is great and working sucks or my marriage you know I don't know like not that we have any problems but you always have something that seems to be like taking priority and so I think it's always important to try to like balance all of it even though it's really difficult but means fashion set up weekly date nights every single Wednesday and that has been huge for us just because it's something to remind ourselves and look forward to because both of us have passions and stuff that we do all day long and we both work in our house and create things all day long and it's a space where it's so fun um, but it can get overwhelming it can get really hard and it's easy to kind of let communication or your marriage kind of fall in between those cracks and we definitely don't want that we've always wanted our marriage to be top priority and so making like weekly date nights is so important to us and it's been really fun it's something that we look forward to every single week it's in the middle of the week and so it helps us just like reset ourselves and it allows us to be able to enjoy when we spend some time apart on our projects or whatever it is because we know that we've set aside that like designated time for one another so I don't know that was kind of like a long-winded answer but um, everything's going well and yeah we're just trying to kind of do the best that we can everyone's always busy and doing something and honestly like I would not want my life to be any different I love what I'm doing even though it seems like a lot it's it's so fun okay my next one <laughs> makes me laugh because this was submitted by Stu and he said who does your hair OMG so Stu is my hair I call him like my hair angel because I feel like it's so difficult sometimes to find who you like vibe with and get your style and like understands like how you want your hair done and I've kind of gone through a lot of people before and they've always been like great because I go back to them a couple times but like 
I don't know, there's nothing that's really like keeping me there. And then I had found Stu on um, Instagram and had been following him. He, he goes to a salon that I've previously been to and I knew I wanted to get in with him and have him do my hair and I reached out to him and he was able to like squeeze me in right before I went to California and it was like, Love at first sight. He gave me my Kim Kardashian little bob, which you guys know I love and need. So he does my hair. Again, I will have his Instagram linked below because he is doing a great discount for you guys. If you let him know that I sent you over to him, he'll give you a great discount. And I promise, like, he's so... This is not a great representation of my hair because it's messy quarantine hair, but... Normally, it's great. I'm seeing him um, in a few days, so I'll be back to, like, my normal chopped self but he's so great and I love him and he does amazing work um so yeah I will leave him down below but he does my hair and I feel amazing every single time he does it so this next question was uh submitted by Zara Vielma and it says if you had to stay the same age what would it be and this is I don't know if I would ever really want to stay one age I'm like very fixated on 30 like I cannot wait to be 30 like I said like very chic adult like I just feel like that's when I'll come alive um but at the same time I don't really want to be stuck at any age there hasn't been an age where I'm like in love with I've always loved getting older um and like having a birthday I don't know so we'll see but yeah I just I'm looking forward to 30 I think it's gonna be really fun and I can't wait um the next one is from Danny and she said what are your future career goals what keeps you motivated so I kind of went through my career goals in the last question but what keeps me motivated I think is just the it's not a fear but the disappointment in myself if I ever gave up especially when it comes to YouTube I think there's been so many times where I felt so stuck or like I wasn't doing enough or I didn't know where my channel which direction it was going in or what I should do next and I've always like thought I'm just not gonna do it anymore it's too hard I don't want to do it but then I just think of myself in like two or three years and think about like if I gave up, what would have happened? And I, I know I regret it if I, if I gave up. So regardless of if I ever make money off YouTube or if I ever get to exactly where I think I'm gonna go, I think I'll always be grateful to have this channel and to document kind of the process through it all. Um, so I think that that is like kind of my biggest motivator. Also like Sebastian's a huge motivator to find someone that like supports you 100% and also just like encourages you and understands your passions and your love I think is so important and it's been so special to me and I don't think that comes with everybody um and so yeah I'm so grateful to have him and he motivates me like 100% um he recently you know was able to like quit his job and do his thing full time and I look up to that so much and can't wait to do that for myself so that's a huge motivator. My family, I mean, I always think about like what I would do if I'd stopped YouTube. My mom would have nothing to watch on YouTube because I'm her favorite. <laughs> but, but seriously, I just, I always get such great encouragement from my family and from all of you guys. You guys are great motivators and whenever you comment or reach out to me on Instagram and share something sweet, it just reminds me of how much I love doing this and I don't ever want to stop. So there's never like an idea of what it's exactly going to turn into, but I'm just hopeful that, I don't know, I'll be in the right place and I'm doing the right steps towards my dreams and my goals. And so, I don't know, for the time being, I love it. And, and YouTube is something that fulfills me and keeps me excited and happy about life. And I can feel like 100% myself on the camera. Um, so yeah, I just, I really enjoy doing it. So those are all the questions that I'm going to answer today. Thank you guys so much for submitting those. It's so fun. I always get so nervous filming these Q&As just because you want to have great answers that like add value or something. I don't know. I just hope that you learned something from me, like something that you didn't know before. Um, but it's always so fun. So thank you guys for letting me film this for you. I hope that you enjoyed. I will have all of the social media links to the people that I mentioned down below. Don't forget to give the video a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!